Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's popping? Are y'all feeling good? Y'all all in y'all slipping, sliding elements? Y'all have beautiful things coming new, new to you. The whole while I meditated on your energy, I felt new. I felt love. I felt y'all missing somebody and I felt a little nastiness, okay? So we grown. Hopefully everybody is 18 plus watching this video because this Mercury retrograde has bought the kid raw and uncut, I'd say. It's a little raw and uncutish, okay? So we're going to go ahead and get this intro right. This is a bonus retrograde special video for my Pisces. For all of the love, the comments, the views, y'all. Y'all were popping. Y'all showed y'all ass this mid month. Did I cry? I did. And I ain't wait till I got in the car, Greg. Okay? I ain't, I ain't wait. I'm, I, ain't shit. I ain't scared to say that I cried. You know, and I ain't gonna lie to you. This Aryan is putting all of this little... I ain't putting my fire down, never. But what I am doing is embracing it. I'm getting a little steamy, okay? So I will say, you know, I have a Pisces moon. So, yeah, this resonates, okay? I pulled an angel message for you. I even pulled three cards from the dreams of Gaia Tarot because Mother needed to speak. Beloved said, I have something to say, okay? So we're going to get to it. I normally don't do songs but I was gonna do y'all video yesterday and I follow mother's instructions and I just waited until today so I don't know what was popping yesterday but we finna find out okay but I do know that um this Mercury retrograde it's gonna bring some interesting things okay some of y'all I feel like are fenced to bust out in a new way all right this is for my sun my moon my rising my venus and my cross watchers for the sign of Pisces okay y'all thank you in advance for the subscribe the love and all I know y'all gonna show y'all I know y'all finna show out because y'all were first okay so let's get it all right Pisces the song I got while meditating okay and I'm gonna sing the song before I even, you see, I'm getting in the groove with a song, cause you know I, I grew up with, with rhythm issues. Okay, so I'm having to get it right, cause it's not a song I listen to every day, but it was screaming to me, and it really made me be like, wait a minute, I got to go, <laughs> I got to go jam that, cause it may, it's, it's screaming, screaming to my Piscean moon. But let's get it, my Piscean moon. Okay, so let's get it. Um, I got. Missing you is way too hard to do. I'd rather be fucking you. Would you mind if I give you love? I just want to give you love. Would you tell me if I'm doing too much? Missing you is way too hard to do. Y'all know that song? That is Kimberly. That is K. Michelle. K. Michelle. Okay? But I love her. Alrighty? So, we're going to rock. Pisces, y'all missing somebody. First and foremost, y'all in y'all elements. The queen of water. Some of y'all could have had a slip and slide council come in and just boom. Surprise y'all asses. And y'all wasn't. Get ready, get ready, get ready, ready, ready. Okay? But you see the 13. The Alpha and the Omega, my Piscean. Y'all are in y'all power, y'all in y'all element. All right, I do see a lot of y'all are completely turning y'all back, okay? Completely. And I'm not going to lie, you see the, the 10, y'all putting down shit. Y'all completely walking into a complete new you. For some of y'all, we're walking away from an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like for those of you who have air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in your moons or your risings or even your Venus. I feel that this has been a hell of a hell of this is going to be a hell of a ride as far as communication. Pisces, 
you are in your element, okay, with this Mars retrograding as well, I'm asking of you guys, do not, do not flip a damn table up, because see, people get y'all twisted, okay, everybody's like, oh, Pisces so sweet, Pisces, and then they fuck over Pisces, and Pisces becomes a psychopathic maniac on their asses, and they don't understand. Pisces will not allow anybody during this retrograde to talk to them directly. So if you're dealing with an air sign, you're going to turn your back on this person, even if it's temporarily for um, this retrograde. I feel like for those of you in long-term relationships with air signs, y'all may have a failure to communicate, okay? And it definitely has to do with the retrograde energy. Some of y'all are feeling very regretful or have an earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could This energy could be internal to you. You could be feeling very regretful or have an earth sign feeling very regretful towards you okay but i feel like this is a time to definitely uh to definitely balance out your masculine and your feminine and a lot of y'all are going to be moving right on into your twin flames arms mm -hmm. y'all ready for all of this fire because for a lot of y'all it's so much fiery energy that i feel it is out of this world okay y'all got my kundalini burning up all righty so i'm gonna get into your angel message first and then we gonna rock with the cards all right I got tonight for y'all. Ready to love again. For those of you who have walked away from someone, I feel like you've walked away possibly in the last four months, anyway, from between four months to four years. And it's been hard for you to deal with people maybe with the trust issues. You don't trust, okay? You're back in your element, baby. Somebody coming into your world to balance this, help you balance out this fat, this uh, masculine and your feminine energies. And I feel like a lot of y'all are going to put fire toward, under y'all asses to move towards the thing that you're passionate about. Some of y'all been having a hell of a lot of dreams about your passions. But some of y'all, y'all got new shmoney coming. This king of earth is grounded. He full of them fruits too. You see him? Some of y'all have new jobs coming through this Richard Gray. Congratulations in advance. Okay? For some of y'all... Y'all moving away from a relationship and love going to sweep you off your feet, moving right into another one I hear. You've healed from past. I'm sorry. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to a new love. Okay? So let's get it. You know, I read straight out the book with these angel messages because I don't want nothing to be misinterpreted because I need y'all to get this. Me and Doreen Virtue. We for the team. Okay? You rocking with the kid. Let's get it. All right. Ready to love again. This card signifies that your heart has healed enough from grief over a loss. I'm sorry, over a loss for you to allow another relationship into your life. You've been understandably guarded. I'm sorry, understandably guarded. Y'all, this Mercury retrograde is fucking up my communication, but we're going to push through, okay? Um, <laughs> wary of being hurt again, and you took the necessary time for healing. Now you feel ready once more to love. You are guided to be gentle with yourself and ease back into your love life. Begin with meeting and dating people through trustworthy sources, such as your religious or spiritual community or close friends. Avoid scenes that feature alcohol or drug abuse. Notice red flag warnings about someone's character. Trust your intuition because it's popping. Did you see this queen? I'm sorry. Let me put my finger there because, you know, I felt to go back to that to show you, you know, my Piscean moon. Gonna let, I know we got to see it. Trust your intuition. You see her eye? The queen. You are queen. You are king, honey. Trust your intuition. It is wide open. For some of y'all, y'all third eye will be opening very soon during this retrograde. You're going to be going through a spiritual awakening, Pisces, if it hasn't already started. You're mutables. A lot of y'all are going to find out you can astro travel. If you're scared of it, hit me up for a reading. Let's get out of that, okay? Because God's not going to give you nothing. Many a call, few are chosen. All right? So it says, notice red flags warnings about someone's character. Take your time and remember the old song, You Can't Carry Love. As you patiently and prayerfully wait for the right, prayerfully, prayerfully wait for the right person. This card also can be a sign of your readiness to adopt a new pet after grieving the loss of a beloved animal companion. Pets do return to us from heaven in new forms, and they know how to find us for a reunion, okay? So I feel like this is a time to definitely trust your intuition, Pisces. It's not a time to be defensive or, for that matter, hold on to the things and the little trials of love. Okay? They were all lessons to bless us later. Okay? Let's get it. Oh, they're jumping off the gate. Spirit messages from my Pisces. All right. Let's get it. All right. Some of y'all could be finding out 
about new babies during this retrograde, okay? Congratulations. Especially those of you who are already in family unions, okay? You could definitely be finding out you're pregnant during this retrograde. Congratulations. For some of y'all, y'all definitely dealing with the Aries, Taurus, Virgo, or Libra. Congratulations. There are a few secrets about a baby that y'all are going to be finding out, okay? Possibly could involve the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and they cheering. <laughs> I feel like someone wants to start over with you, Pisces, or will want to start over during this retrograde, okay? But some of y'all is someone who you have a family with, okay? They want to recreate, you know, a grounded, stable home front, especially if y'all had issues, especially if this is the earth sign and y'all had issues with communication. They want to start over, but somebody is being defensive towards it. You could also be dealing with a defensive-ass Leo, okay? Or you could be being defensive to a Leo, or the Leo could be defensive towards you. It is a it is. It is revolving around secrets that are going to be coming to the forefront throughout this Mercury retrograde. But some of y'all who wish to actually fix your family, especially if you're dealing with the Capricorn, I do see that here in the cards. I do see that here going in the future. Also, for some of y'all who are going to or wanting to reunite with the water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, it's in the building. That is going to happen. That start over of love. Okay? But some of y'all, y'all have new divine love coming in. And for some of y'all, it is a Cancer. Okay, for some of y'all, y'all having to make a decision because maybe there were two lovers that you had in mind for the newly single who've been getting out there, getting into this Piscean energy, owning their power and embracing their sensuality and their sexuality. If you've been seeing roosters, look it up. You embracing it all right, honey, because y'all have my Kundalini on fire. Somebody making some good love. Pisces, some of y'all is nasty. This energy, does... <laughs> not bad nasty because I don't judge, honey, but keep in mind I'm Aries, so I'll just flow. I feel it. All right. Some of y'all have a divine lover coming in. You're going to have to make a decision. For some of y'all feel like y'all have already met this person. This Mercury Retrograde going to get you out of that defensive energy for the person who you're dealing with. Spirit, please clarify the moon card of Pisces. Why is the moon card here? Yeah. Some of y'all who are dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, strong emphasis on Aquarius or Libra. I feel like y'all going to be finding out secrets about this person and it's going to allow y'all to forward and start anew. I feel like for some of y'all, y'all have been um, kind of internally fighting y'all self. I feel like with this retrograde, some of y'all, y'all going to receive some truth and clarity that's possibly going to have you either internally fighting yourself or this could be a fire sign that you're getting into it with that you need truth and clarity from. Oh, and it's a common baby, okay? They could involve children. Yeah, some of y'all want to start something new and take a leap of faith with an Aries, possibly from your past, but I feel like this is a newer person. This person could be younger than you as well. Some of y'all are trying to offer y'all love to a defensive fire sign. Could be this damn Aries, but I do see you guys moving forward anew during this retrograde, okay? So for some of y'all, y'all going to receive communication, okay? You're going to be receiving communication regarding the family situation, and it's going to be good communication. I'm tired of everybody thinking this retrograde energy is just going to be fucked up. For people who have to leave people behind who they've been with for eight or nine years, yeah, you're going to be fucked up about that. I mean, you love a person. Love is not, you don't just, you don't have an off switch where you just cut it off, okay? For people who you can just cut it off like that, baby, you still got work to do. Unconditional love can't be just cut off like that. Yeah, some of y'all are going to be receiving communication, honest communication regarding from an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, strong emphasis on fire or water sign, but it's going to allow you guys to move forward in a new way towards creating Creating that Ace of Cups where both of you guys are actually putting in the efforts, okay? Some of y'all, there are secrets around the Capricorn that y'all will be finding out, okay? Could it be someone that you have children with? And it could also include a Taurus, all right? Um, but some of y'all, y'all have... Hmm, some of y'all, y'all dealing with a strong emphasis of a Virgo. For some of y'all, y'all going to be getting communication that y'all will be expanding y'all family. Some of y'all, y'all better wrap it up if you don't want babies because this energy is popping, okay? Some of y'all could definitely be starting something new with the Virgo, okay? Or starting, especially if you're starting over with the Taurus or a Virgo, you could be, uh, this could be your child's father, a father or your child's mother, okay? Um, you could be. Because this queen doesn't necessarily have to be a lady, okay? But this is definitely somebody who you have a family dynamic with or who you will be creating a new family with. Congratulate. Y'all Y'all know Mocha love the kids. I love the kids, okay? Some of y'all have new love, possibly with the water sign. An Aries, a Virgo is here, okay? A Cancer is here. Strong emphasis on the cancer. But some of y'all, some of y'all are going to be walking away, okay, from a toxic-ass Scorpio. 
All right, y'all going to be finding out truth and clarity about a Scorpio that's possibly juggling you and another earth sign. And the way some of y'all going to find out this truth is through possibly a situation that involves a baby mama. For those of you who are dealing with Scorpio and they got a Virgo or a Taurus baby mama, get ready, get ready, get ricky, 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 okay? Um, some of y'all are going to be starting over anew. And after, after focusing on your money for so long, <laughs> boom. <laughs> Here comes love. Some of y'all are having to deal with a situation of learning how to balance a new forming family, the child forming, okay, a family dynamic, as well as getting your coins. And for some of y'all, you're making it harder than what it has to be. Somebody is trying to offer someone love, okay? Someone could want a, a renewal or to start over in a love situation. Possibly in the past, it could have been a three-party situation. This could be a woman that's having to, having to choose between two lovers. I feel like she loved them both, so she ain't making no damn decision. She's just going to work on her coins. Whoever that's for, lady, hit me up because I'm not even going to tell you what just flew across my penny. You're talking about it. I'm going to get the bill, okay? Um, <laughs> but I do see some of y'all actually um, starting over. With someone, possibly an earth sign, who you possibly been with for eight years, eight months, eight weeks. Okay, but clarify this chariot. Yeah, but y'all have a lot of things coming to y'all. Some of y'all are going to be reuniting with a cancer from your past, maybe in the past. Or some of y'all will also be finding out about a three-party situation with a cancer as well. I feel like this will be all water, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, with another water sign. Some of y'all going to find out about a three-party situation with a cancer, and it's going to come in unexpectedly. You're going to find it when you're not looking for it. Um, and it's going to allow you to move forward and actually getting this Queen of Wands energy to be like, uh, bye, Frank, bye, Fifi. I got places to be. I want real love, not this play, play shit, okay? Um, but for some of y'all, y'all have an earth sign kind of juggling y'all with you and a fire sign, and I feel like this fire sign it's very burdened. So for some of y'all who have a third party situation with yourself, an earth sign and a fire sign, some change when it comes to that situation. Somebody can be cut off. And I strongly feel like it's the fire sign. And you're going to choose your soulmate or whomever you got kids with. And guess what? Y'all going to, a lot of y'all have brand new beginnings, brand new jobs, brand new passion, brand new love. And it possibly came with the entering of your life. Uh, Leo entering your damn life could be Aries, Sag as well, but I get strong emphasis on the Leo. All right, um, a lot of y'all have a lot of options at this time. Spirit and a lot of y'all options gonna come in fast. Okay, some of y'all are waiting on a Virgo to come in and express their love. They're coming. Okay, they're coming. Uh, some of y'all felt rejected by possibly a water sign, for example, a fucking Scorpio to be exact. All right, but some of y'all will feel rejected from a Scorpio due to a, a child situation because I do feel if you're dealing with a Scorpio, this person is tied to a Virgo. So Somehow, and the baby mama finna to pop out the woodworks on. That's for spirit is saying at least fifteen percent of y'all. So for some of y'all, that's going. That's actually what's going on in y'all life. Spirit, let me clarify the diet cards. Why is the queen of water here? Because I see the empress here again. So yeah, somebody, somebody's soulmate is definitely an Aries, Taurus, Libra, Virgo. Okay, um, or somebody will definitely be finding out that they have this sign pregnant, or they are pregnant, or you're pregnant by these people. Congratulations again, my blood king. But yeah, a lot of y'all have this Ace of Cups and you got the Two of Cups right here. So some of y'all definitely will be reuniting with the Leo, okay? This person is definitely a soulmate if you were wondering, all right? But some of y'all is just, I feel like, it could also be a water sign, but I feel like this is somebody who balances you out. Maybe you were defensive towards the connection at first because you had other things to deal with as far as walking away from someone completely, but now you ain't confused. Or if this is outside of you, this person is not confused. The Queen of Water is here, okay? A lot of y'all actually was... They're going through a situation where you're needing balance in your life, okay? And you're needing balance in your life in order for you to actually own and walk into your power, okay? For some of y'all, losing people, for some of y'all, y'all going to be cutting loose of Taurus. Some of y'all are going to be cutting loose of Taurus, and this is going to move you right smooth into your power because I feel like this person or you wants to live in the past. And it could be maybe you're feeling regretful for all the arguments with this person or this person's feeling regretful for the arguments, but somebody is just focused strictly on their money or will be during this retrograde. Okay, why is the Ten of Air here? Yeah, Page of Swords. Somebody's going to be cutting off a Gemini Libra Aquarius. I feel like this person has very narcissistic communication skills. I'm, I'm sorry, they're very narcissistic and they don't communicate right. Their communication skills fucking suck. Okay, and I feel like this person just communicates very childishly. And Pisces is not fucking having it, okay? For some of y'all, y'all will be definitely receiving some type of 
Some of y'all are going to receive some major new financial opportunity. Whoa. That is, you see how it jumped out? This and I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere on y'all ass. You see how them cards been jumping? My cards literally been jumping off the table and jumping everywhere. So, Spirit really want to get their messages out. But somebody receiving a huge financial opportunity. This is a great time for Pisces to play the lottery as well, if you didn't know. Um, but somebody has a, a huge financial opportunity coming or maybe some type of windfall that's coming that's going to catch them off guard. Somebody could be receiving something from an earth sign, okay? Some type of financial start or financial help. Somebody could also be receiving new jobs. Congratulations, because y'all got all aces in y'all reading. I kept hearing the whole time, new, 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 baby. So if you missed the opportunity in the past, possibly with, an, uh, with the water sign. If you have a defensive fire sign, then people gonna drop. They gonna drop. They gonna drop their shit. Okay, y'all is gonna. There is gonna be a lot of love. There will be a lot of expression here. A lot of things are gonna change very rapidly for y'all. And a lot of y'all have a new, a new uh water sign coming in. They could be a little younger than y'all. For some of y'all, y'all could have a water sign, a air sign. Okay, that's attached to the, to a water sign that y'all could be getting the truth about. Could definitely be a Scorpio. Y'all, and this is going to bring a towel moment. For some of y'all, this towel moment is walking away to accept all of this new news. You got to let some go because everybody can't eat at the winter table. But guess what? If you were dealing with the damn Leo, or you waiting on the Leo to come back, they coming back. And the divine wants you to have strength. Watch out for the snakes because I feel like y'all got people outside of that union with the Leo that don't want to see y'all happy, don't want to see y'all grow. But this person definitely wants to reunite with you. And they're going to communicate that. For some of y'all, it's definitely an Aries. Look at that little red cardinal bird. Some of y'all waiting to hear from an Aries or waiting to give some communication to an Aries. They finna show their face. And honestly, it can be beautiful only if you allow it to be beautiful. Do not be in your head. Be very, very, very confident. Very prestigious. Own all of your sensuality. Be truthful with yourself during this time. What the hell can I or can I not accept? What am I not having? I ain't having this shit. Straight up like that. Some of y'all, that's how the energy I want y'all to walk in. I just ain't having this shit. You don't talk to me nice. You're not supportive. I have big dreams and me sitting here being a damn housewife when I got somebody who loves me, who wants to come in and help me and want to support me and invest in me and your ass want to sit up here and talk. I'm, I'm living my best life. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to do this. Pick, choose you. Because all of these energies in the sky around this Mercury retrograde, baby, with this Mars retrograde, Neptune is in Pisces. That's y'all planet. The mothering planet. The nurturing planet. Yeah, it could be an illusionist. So definitely step outside of yourself when having, don't have, or don't argue with people at the, during this time. Because see, Mercury and Mars got folks talking at the side of their damn neck. Don't argue with people. It's best that you be a better listener than talking during this time because you might miss something. Maybe everybody's perception is different. It's definitely your perception of things. And that's what that Neptune energy is about. It's been retrograding since, the, I believe, the 18th of June or something like that. And it's going to stay in effect to about November -ish or, I think, December, something like that. But with that said, definitely get all the facts first. And don't walk around with rose-colored glasses. If the person have shown you who they are, believe they have. Because y'all have a negative air sign. I feel strongly the energy of a sneaky-ass Scorpio. A reckless ass Taurus. Some of y'all got some issues with a Capricorn who got secrets and shit. Y'all gonna be finding all this. Anything that was in the dark, baby, the veil has been lifted. There will be no more secrets during this retrograde. You ain't no. So I love y'all very much. I wish y'all well push through. I send you love, light, prosperity, abundance, and a whole lot, a whole lot of sensuality because it's all up in here, okay? So <laughs> y'all, much love. Much like this for my water babies. Y'all make me proud because I'm loving this shit. Balance, baby. New, new. With the new, new. That's my name of y'all video. New, new. Because all new, new is in the cards, honey. Mwah. Love and light, y'all.